Come get your popcorn for only one dollar. Blair and I are driving down the street and all of a sudden we see food and I say, we gotta stop. And it's the Jones Family Country Market <laughs> that caught our eye. You sell everything here, don't you? Yes, sir, we do. What's the most popular? Um, our most popular item in the summer, of course, is our catfish. We have fresh catfish caught right here in St. Louis, Missouri. We have raw local honey, which we have our own bees here, so we harvest our own honey. And we have chickens, so our, our eggs are fresh straight out of the backyard. Nice. Uh, Miss, Miss Jones, tell me why you guys got started with this out here in Spanish Lake area. What, what, was there a need for something like this? Well, definitely. During the pandemic, we saw that there was a need. A lot of the stores were closing early. We didn't have a lot of the things we needed in the stores. So we had an abundance and our friends are like, well, you guys need to share. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so they start passing the word for us and from there we grew. You've even got sweet pickles. I love sweet pickles. <laughs> we do. Everything is homemade. We make it here in-house. All types of things that we can teach you how to make as well. Mm. Okay, so tell me this. Uh, being that you guys are out here, you're selling all these items, people are passing by, uh, does that really kind of give you a feel and a vibe for your community because they're stopping by, your neighbors, these are your neighbors? Definitely. When we put our signs out to let them know that we have the fresh fish or the eggs available, immediately the cars start pulling up, they start stopping, they'll honk on their way by to let us know that they're coming back. We get to meet all of our neighbors here in Spanish Lake and they, they take good care of us. Does anybody ever sing to you? Uh, not too often. I want to do it. <laughs> you inspire me to sing that song. <laughs> me, uh, Mrs. 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 Jones. Mrs. Mrs. Jones. Mrs. Jones. Oh Mrs. Jones. Do people do that a lot to you? No, no, not as much as you would think. The first. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me what uh, kind of satisfaction this brings you to be able to give your community fresh produce. This is something that is needed. Um, not a whole lot of stores around. How, what kind of satisfaction does that bring you? Um, it's, it's awesome. It's something that our whole family does together. Um, so it's something that I'm being able to pass down to my kids. Mm -hmm. um, my oldest son helps my husband fish and my youngest son helps me run the market and, and sell all the goodies. Wow! I got one thing to say. We got a thing, <laughs> we got a thing <laughs> going on. All right. <laughs> going on. Man, I think she really appreciated John, that. John just had to sing to that woman, but... <laughs> it's not every day you meet Mrs. Jones. We enjoyed Mrs. her, Jones, though. Mrs. Jones, Mrs. Jones. <laughs> You know what? She fortified us with all that energy, and especially that honey. That honey. Really she gave us some honey. And that means that you've got energy to go to Hazelwood East. Yes, I went by Hazelwood East. We get into the Spartan School spirit. They we get to see the drum line. It's really exciting, so Did make sure you stick around for that. They need a singer? They don't need a singer, John, but we'll, we'll check on that a little bit later. But we got more for you guys coming up. We are live in your neighborhood, Spanish Lake.